For this tutorial, we have pre-installed the Roof Deck OSB board. Tools required. Cordless drill with countersink, countersink screws, belt sander, leaf blower. No materials required. It's important to countersink the screw holes in the roof deck for a flat surface to install the membrane onto. So we have pre-screwed in and removed the screws. Use a cordless drill with countersink to prepare the holes for countersunk screws. Use a cordless drill to screw into the roof deck. Make sure all screw heads are countersunk into the roof deck for a flush finish. Use a belt sander to sand the joints on the roof deck for a smooth finish to apply the EPDM membrane to. Use a leaf blower to remove all dust and debris from the roof deck. Tools required. Combination square, marker pen, heat gun, scribe. No materials required. Set a combination square ruler to 150 millimeters. Use the combination square and a marker pen to mark out the edges of the roof deck for contact bonding adhesive application. Mark out the full perimeter at 150 millimeters. Unfold the EPDM membrane and position it on the roof deck. If there are any factory or transit creases, Use a heat gun to remove them. Fold the membrane back and use a scribe to mark the fold to 150 millimeters all along the previously marked roof deck perimeter. So the membrane's contact adhesive area corresponds with the roof deck's contact adhesive area. Tools required. Medium pile paint roller and pole, broom, Safety goggles, stirrer, mini paint roller, craft knife. Materials required. One piece EPDM membrane, water-based deck adhesive, contact bonding adhesive. Subject to weather conditions, fold the membrane back to a manageable size. Shake the jerry bottle of water-based deck adhesive. Pour large, evenly spaced out drops of water-based deck adhesive onto the underside of the membrane. Use a medium pile paint roller on these drops to evenly coat the underside of the membrane. Then, pour large, evenly spaced out drops of water-based deck adhesive onto the corresponding section of roof deck, within the marked area 150 mm from the edge. Use a roller on the drops to evenly coat that section of roof deck. Lay the adhesive coated section of membrane onto the adhesive coated section of roof deck. Refollow these steps to apply water based deck adhesive and lay out the next section of membrane. Use a broom to press each section of membrane onto the roof deck. Push out to remove any air bubbles from underneath the membrane. This will ensure a good adhesive bond between the membrane and roof deck. Place an offcut of membrane or cardboard onto the newly installed membrane surface, then place a tin of contact bonding adhesive onto that protective layer. Put on your safety goggles. Stir the adhesive with a piece of roofing batten or a stirrer. Use a mini paint roller to apply an even coat of contact bonding adhesive to the previously marked 150mm strip along the roof deck edge. Then, use the roller to apply an even coat of contact bonding adhesive to the previously marked 150mm strip along the corresponding membrane underside. Check the contact bonding adhesive is touch dry. This will prevent any gas bubbles forming underneath the membrane. Lay the membrane onto the roof deck and smooth it into place by hand. Refollow these steps to apply contact bonding adhesive and bond the membrane along all the roof deck edges. Use your judgment and work your way around the roof perimeter in the most sensible order regarding the roof design, weather and other conditions. Left, front, right, back works well if possible.
check the contact bonding adhesive is touch dry before joining the surfaces. Apply contact bonding adhesive to the back wall upstand up to 150 millimeters. This will often be the house wall, but is represented here by a simple timber upstand. Also apply contact bonding adhesive along the back wall 150 millimeter roof deck strip. Apply contact bonding adhesive in a 300 millimeter strip along the underside of the membrane. Check the contact bonding adhesive is touch dry before joining the surfaces. Lay the membrane onto the 150mm strip of back wall roof deck. Press the membrane into the 90 degree angle change. This will avoid the membrane pulling away, known as tenting, as you lift it up and onto the wall upstand. Lift up and press the membrane onto the back wall upstand. Use a craft knife to trim the membrane to the wall chase. Allow a minimum of 100 millimeters for proper coverage. Tools required. Craft knife, tape measure, scribe, scissors, paintbrush, silicon roller, penny roller, sealant gun, Materials required 9 inch uncured flashing tape, EPDM primer, lap edge sealant. Use a craft knife to cut the membrane at a 45 degree angle at the wall termination, where the roof deck and fascia meet the wall. Use a scribe to mark 150mm in on both sides of a piece of 9 inch, which is 225mm, uncured flashing tape. Use scissors to cut the tape across these marks and create a 150mm wide patch. Cut curved corners on one end. Position the patch as a guide. Use a scribe to draw around the patch and create a prime line. Use a paintbrush to apply EPDM primer within and 5 to 10 millimeters past the prime line. Wait for EPDM primer to be touched dry. Remove the poly backing from the patch. Apply the patch. Start from the top and work down. Make sure to tightly work it into the angle change. Use a silicon roller and a penny roller as required to apply pressure to the patch and work it into all the angle changes. Use a sealant gun to apply a protective bead of lap edge sealant around the edge of the patch. Tools required. Hammer, ring shank nails, mini paint roller, poly top nails, fixing pins. Materials required. Lengths of gutter trim, contact bonding adhesive. Position the gutter trim back plate onto the fascia batten. Make sure it's one or two millimeters lower than the roof deck surface. Hammer ring shank nails along the gutter trim back plate to secure it to the fascia batten. Fold the membrane back. Use a mini roller to apply contact bonding adhesive to the underside of the membrane and the gutter trim back plate. Wait for contact bonding adhesive to be touch dry. Pull the membrane down and smooth it onto the back plate to ensure good adhesion. Remove the protective film from the gutter trim front plate. Position the front plate onto the membrane covered back plate. Hammer a polytop nail into each of the pre drilled holes. Hammer a fixing pin into the gutter trim at the corner. Tools required Tape measure, pencil, fine tooth handsaw or multi cutter, hammer, 50mm polytop nails. Materials required Lengths of raised curb trim. Use a small fine tooth handsaw or a multi cutter to cut the lengths of raised curb trim to the correct length. Position them at the roof edges. Remove the protective film from the length of raised curb trim. Fold and tuck the membrane into the corner. 
Remove the protective film from the foam strip. Press the raised curb trim down into position. Compress the foam strip by 70% for a watertight seal. Hammer a polytop nail into each of the pre-drilled holes along the length of raised curb trim. Hammer a fixing pin into the raised curb trim at the corner. Refollow these steps to install raised curb trim on the other side of the roof. Tools required. Craft knife. Materials required. Raised curb trim external corners, super glue, super glue activator. Snap out the raised curb trim side of the external corner component. Apply super glue to one inside edge of the raised curb trim external corner to allow for expansion and contraction. Apply super glue activator to the corresponding corner area of the fitted raised curb trim. Press the external corner component down and into the gutter trim corner. Hold in place until fully adhered. Refollow these steps to install the external corner component on the other side of the roof. Use a craft knife to trim any excess membrane to the bottom edge of the trim. Be careful not to damage the fascia board.